A win, a loss and a draw for Saint-Etienne in their last three league outings with consistency an issue for Jean-Louis Guess's team this season. Led by Wabi Kazri, Lever sat just outside the European football places. Their opponents Dijon continue to struggle. Just one win in their last ten and the winter break couldn't come any sooner for Olivia Del Olio's side. But it was the visitors who threatened first. Benjamin Janot at the back post forcing Ruffier into a very good save. And then captain Louis Perrin scrambling well across the goal line. Saint-Étienne responded. As Dijon got lucky, the ball bouncing off the post from their own player. Levert thought they had opened the score through Karsru's brilliant header. But the replays did show that he was offside. Well offside. The correct decision by the referees. Nothing, however, wrong with the first goal of the match. Monet Paquet coming in to turn in the rebound, given offside at first. But the VAR confirming that Monet Paquet was behind the line. Therefore, the goal stood for Saint-Étienne's opening goal of the match. But by no means their last. In the second half, Levert turned on the style. Wabi Kazri once again involved and this time blasting in a phenomenal shot. His ninth goal of the season. And that one a truly brilliant strike. Jan Villa with the ball across the pitch. Rone Pake once again involved and Kazri dispatches it with power and panache. Alain with a good save and goal from Puluma. But Dijon running out of time to find a way back into the match. Wesley Said with a costly foul in the end as Robert Beric then headed in Saint Etienne's third, securing the three points for Jean Louis Gasset. The home side dominating the match throughout and a comprehensive victory in the end. Saint-Étienne remain fifth, Jean-Louis Gasset shares his ambitions in the post-match conference saying he wants to challenge the top clubs. Dijon slip into the bottom three with ten losses from their opening 18 games.